are y'all doing today? Welcome to July favorites. I can't believe it's already over. I say that every month. But yeah, it's really crazy that it's already the end of July. So I hope you guys had a fabulous month. We did, and I have some fun products to share with you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. First of all, um, I hauled, I want to say it was this month that I hauled um, kind of some stuff that I got from Ulta. And one of the things that I got was from NYX, and it was the new primer. It's called Angel Veil, vale, and it's a skin perfecting primer. And I really like this. And I'm kind of surprised that I do because I don't really like dewy skin and I don't really like um, primers that like enhance that. You know what I mean? I like mattifying primers, pore filling primers, not really dewy type primers. This I wouldn't say like makes your skin dewy, but it kind of um, makes it a little bit metallic-y. So the, what I can compare this to is kind of like the... Um, Magic Lumi, I think is what it's called, in the little tall white bottle. Um, but anyways, I could kind of compare it to that. So it doesn't necessarily make me um, feel oily or anything, but it just kind of gives me a metallic look on my skin. But I really like it. I feel like my foundation goes over it very well, and it just kind of smooths everything out. So I'm really, really liking this as a primer this month. Um, Foundation-wise, I'm going to have to go with the Revlon um, Whipped Color Stay Whipped Foundation, and mine is in 320 Warm Golden, which I feel like is so dark. It seems like it's so dark because they have like 100s, 200s, and 300s. But when I mashed it to my skin, this is what it looks like, and it it is the right color. It just seems really dark. But um, anyways, I really like this for the summertime right now. Um, it stays on pretty good. It keeps me matte. You don't have to use a whole lot, but it does give you good coverage. So I'm really, really liking this as a foundation. It's just lightweight. It's kind of a moussey type formula. Anyways, try this out if you haven't already. It's very affordable. It's drugstore. It's, I think it's like $12.99 to $14.99. And it gives awesome coverage. And um, yeah, it feels really good on your skin too. So I've been really liking that for foundation. Um... To have a mascara as a favorite is really odd for me. Um, I did go with this uh, Voluminous Miss Manga mascara. And who is this by? L'Oreal? No. Yes, L'Oreal. And I've heard a whole lot about this. I've watched a whole lot of reviews on it. And I was like, eh. So finally I went into CVS and I was like, I'm going to try it. So I picked it up and I really like this. Actually, this is the only thing that I'm wearing today. I'm not even wearing false lashes. And for me, like this is really good because I feel like I have three eyelashes and they're like the stubbiest eyelashes in the world. So for me to not feel like I have to wear false lashes is a big deal and thanks to this mascara. So I'm really, really liking this. Um, as far as a cheek product goes, this is by Jane and I really like this. It's called Peach Bouquet and it looks like this. I like this for a couple of reasons. One, because it is a kind of, I want to say mosaic, but it's not really. But it's a couple of colors in one pan. You've got kind of a couple different tones of orange, a little bit of a shimmery orange, and then this pinky color here. And why I like this is that you can kind of customize the color. You can kind of put your brush more on this side and just go with a pink color. Um, you can put your brush more on this side and you get more of a peach type color if you guys can see that. Or you can mix it all together and get just a really pretty coral. So here's the peach, the pink, and then your corally color mixed together. So as you can see it just is a very versatile um, blush to carry with you. If you guys are traveling and you want something that's going to kind of give you a golden peach, a pink, or a coral color, this is for sure a good option. And I like this. It stays on really well. It's very blendable. Um, these are sold at Ulta, I think is where you can get Jane. Um, I think that's the only place right now that I can get it. Um, but it's affordable. It's a little, I mean, it's not inexpensive. It's not Elf, but it's it's also not, you know, a $30 blush. I think this was like 8 or $10. So really like that. Um, as far as the eyes go, this is really weird for me too. This seems like a really weird video. I'm like, liking all these different things. Um, but I usually am a palette person when it comes to eyes. I like to just open up a palette and have all the colors that I could possibly want in one palette. But I've really been kind of trying to branch out and pick some different kinds of um, colors from different lines that are really neutral because I've been going with kind of more neutral eyes. 
So the first two that I really like are by MAC and this is Wedge. Wait. So anyway, it looks like this and this is just an awesome crease color. Um, it's a couple shades darker than my skin tone. So it works really well as a um, transition shade in your crease. Just buffed in really well. So it's just for a really neutral um, eye look. And then the one for my lid that I like to pair with that is also by MAC and this is called Shroom. And this is great for an all over lid color and for an inner corner highlight as well as a brow bone highlight. And I really like this. It's just a pale white type color. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it, but not like crazy. So yeah, that's really pretty too. So those are the two that I've loved from MAC. And the other three are also single eyeshadows and these are from the new Milani line. And I did a first impression on this, so I'm hoping that it will be up before I post this video. Um, so that you guys can see these in action. But these are awesome. I'm loving these. Um, they stay on my eyes so long. I don't ever have to worry about creasing. They have amazing colors. Um, yeah, I really cannot say enough good things about these. Um, but the colors that I picked up are Bella Cafe. I'm not going to swatch these because I'm going to try to link that video down below. So that's that one. I like to buff that into my crease. Then I got Bella Ivory, which is, again, an all-over lip color. Or a brow bone or inner um, eye highlight and then I also got a Bella Espresso which looks like this it's just a dark color to kind of deepen up the outer V or um, blend into your crease for a little bit darker of a, of a look so these are the three that I got all together um, yeah and these are so pretty and they work perfectly together so I really like those and that's Bella Cafe, Bella Ivory and Bella Espresso um, so yeah I really like those so as you can see, like supernatural eyes are definitely what I'm going for right now. Um, as far as lips go, as always, I've got a million products for lips because I love them. Um, but first, like taking care of your lips, I have been loving any of the Nivea lip butters. I really like the um, macadamia, I think it's a vanilla macadamia nut or something like that. That's my favorite one. But I just picked this one up in Raspberry Rose Kiss and oh my gosh, this smells so good. I was a little bit concerned at first about putting like floral something on my lips because I was like, ooh, I do not want like, but it, I think it's actually raspberry rosé kiss. So I think that it's, <laughs> it's not actually rose. I could be wrong about this, but I think it's just like raspberry pink tinted kiss is what I'm going to go with. Um, so anyways, it smells awesome. Just like any of the Nivea lip butters, it's very hydrating on your lips. It makes them feel good. I put one of these on every night and I wake up and I always feel like my lips are very moisturized and hydrated and stuff like that. Um, the other two that I like that I've been wearing during the day, these are from Absolute Love and I got these actually at TJ Maxx but you can get them a lot of different places. Um, and this is the Bubblegum and Strawberry. I'm going to give these a shout out because one, I like them like during the day to just put on kind of as a lip balm but they smell so good. This Bubblegum one, I'm obsessed with Bubblegum smell to begin with but this one smells so good. Like, I literally just want to take a bite out of it. It smells so good. And then the strawberry is the same thing. I love the way strawberry smells. And it can, this is, kind of gives you, like, a creamy... Let me see if I can swatch this for you guys with a clean finger. But it gives you, it also gives you good color. You know what I mean? Like, for a lip gloss. Mm, let's see. You can see that right there. And that's the strawberry. And then this one is the bubble gum. I probably didn't I want to make sure you guys can see those. So that one's that one there. So as you can see, they also like give you some color on your lips. So I really like those for the daytime. If I don't feel like wearing a lipstick, I'll just like slap this on my lips and it's super moisturizing and it gives you a pop of color. So really like those. Um, and the other lip products I have been loving is um, I did a first impression on these glazed lip paints by LA Girl um, Cosmetics and yeah, I really like these. I I don't love all of the colors, but I really like this one, which is called Bombshell. And it's just a fuchsia type color to pink. But let me tell you that since I did that first impression, these suckers are so hard to apply because they have this like um, hard plastic part to apply it with. And the consistency of these just does not work well with that. So I would highly suggest applying these with a lip brush. That is the best way to do it. It works so much easier. Like when I was doing my first impression on these, I literally like, it was so hard. And then I felt like I had so much on my lips. So definitely use a brush with these and I think they'll work a lot better. Um, but yeah, these, these are really good. I like these. This is the color um, of this one. 
and it is just a really pretty fuchsia pink color. So if you're looking for a bright, fun pink color for summer, that is definitely the one. And these are super inexpensive too. So like that. Um, and then two more lip products. And of course they're also, well, one of them's pink. <laughs> this one is um, one of the matte lipsticks by NYX. And this is in T-Rose. I like this. This is kind of an everyday pink. Um, it's kind of mauve but very, very wearable. So I've been loving the mauve type lips. I just think it's very like sultry and anyways, I really like it. So this is definitely one of my favorites for right now. This is a little bit more pinky than mauve but definitely still same in, still in that same kind of line and I love this one. Um, next is by MAC and this is Creme de Nude and I bought this because I, I've heard, you know, like Creme de Nude, Creme de Nude and this is like the best nude color. Well, I bought it thinking it was gonna be a nude that I wanna wear a lot and unfortunately, it just doesn't look really good with my skin tone. It's a little bit too light for me. Um, so I t always top this with something. But the reason why I'm including it as in my favorites right now is because it's... Let me swatch it for you guys first. It's a little bit too light and peachy for me. But I like to wear it... It's this one right here. I like to wear it like with a darker butter gloss over it by NYX or a darker colored lipstick that I want to kind of tone down. So I'll put that on first and then I'll put the other color over top of it. Like today I have on um, a color elixir by, um, I can't remember what it's called. I should have looked and seen what it's called. But I got it for more like the fall and winter months and it's like a really dark kind of brown color. And I don't love it for summer, but I like to wear it with this MAC lipstick. Um, because it kind of tones it down and makes it a little bit more wearable for summer. So I definitely think this is a favorite because you can mix it with any color and kind of tone any color down and make it wearable. So I really like that. And then finally, the um, Body Shop's Almond Hand Cream, hand and Nail Cream. Love this. This stuff smells so good. I love anything almond. Um, ooh, especially almond icing. That sounds so good right now. But yeah, this stuff is so good. It smells so awesome and yeah, it's hydrating. It's not like greasy. You can put it on during the day and go do whatever you need to do and you're not like slipping off the steering wheel or whatever. So yeah, I'm really, really loving this one as well. So um, yeah, that's all of my favorites for July. So I appreciate you guys sticking with me till the end. I always think like when I'm pulling stuff out that are my favorites, like, oh, this isn't very much stuff. I really, I, I wonder if I should even do a favorites video. And then I sit down in front of the camera and start talking to you about it. And I feel like it's the longest video ever. So I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, those are definitely my favorite products. I will have them all listed down below if you guys want a little bit more information on those. Um, yeah. And if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, also, I will be on every Tuesday over on XO Beauty Co. So make sure that you check that out. I will link that down below as well. Um, and that's just seven of us girls getting together on the same topic every week. And you get lots of different viewpoints on the same topic. So it's awesome, awesome. Lots of different age groups and so much fun. So make sure you check that out. And I think that's it. I appreciate you guys watching so much. I hope y'all have a fabulous, blessed day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.